Excited for another beat project? I know I am. Here's another just for you. It's Uncle Sam. The beat in Uncle Sam is a perfect patriotic pattern, and that's the facts. A North American icon figure that will remind you to pay your tax. With this unique color scheme and iconic clothes, you can definitely tell it's this guy from its head to its toes. This pattern is great, it's a simple design, and it's easy to make. So let's get ready for this tutorial to satisfy your creative needs. Feel free to give this video a like and enjoy this episode of Turbo Beats. Here's a list of everything you need to make the beat Uncle Sam. Before starting this project, I'm just letting you know that I'm using Esketti strings made by Pepperell Braiding Company. It's a round plastic lace that comes in a 50 yard spool, has a bit of flexibility to it, and it works great. With that being said, I'm just keeping you informed and letting you know that this is a personal choice. This is not a sponsored video. To make the beaded Uncle Sam, we'll start out by using the straw technique. What we'll do is we'll take a straw and split it down the center by cutting it with scissors. So just watch close as I carefully cut the straw down the center. Splitting the straw down the center will make it easier to add beads to that straw. Basically what we're doing is we're using that straw as a stabilizer for the rows of beads which will keep them straight, aligned, and in place. Now that the straw is split down the center, we're going to add three beads to that straw. That's two red beads with a white bead in the middle. This is what it should look like. Now that we have those beads on the straw, we'll carefully cut off the end of that straw, keeping it from showing through the sides, keeping that straw hidden within those beads. Then from here, we're going to take three foot of string and add that row of stabilized beads to that string. Once you get those beads on the string, you're going to match up both ends of string, pushing those beads toward the center. This will ensure that you have the same length of string to use on both sides. So just continue watching as I push these beads toward the center of the string. This will be the first row of our pattern. Let me be sure to mention that you want to ensure that these beads stay in the center of the string. Making the next row is just as simple. Again, we're going to use the straw technique by adding three beads to that straw. That's two red beads with the white bead in the middle. Once you have those beads on the straw, remember you'll carefully cut off the end of that straw, keeping it from showing through the sides. Of course, leaving that straw hidden within those beads. Once we have that row of stabilized beads, we're going to take one end of the string and add those beads to the string. Then, we're going to take our other end of string and run that string through all those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Once you get that string through all of those beads, with both ends of the string coming out of each side, you'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top, bringing all of those beads together. As you'll see, creating additional rows for this pattern is pretty simple. Again, you'll add your beads to a straw, cutting off the ends of that straw, keeping it from showing through the sides. Then, taking one end of the string, adding those stabilized row of beads to that string. Then, taking your other end of string, and running it through all of those beads as well, going in the opposite direction. Again, once you get that string through all of those beads, with the string coming out of each end, you'll pull both ends of that string until you've reached the top, bringing all of those beads together. So from here, we'll just continue repeating the same steps, creating additional rows, following the pattern as seen at the top of the screen. When assembling this project, be sure to take your time when putting each row together, ensuring that you place the beads in the correct order as shown at the top of this video so that the image looks as it should, being sure to pull both ends of the string evenly to maintain the same length of string on each side, pulling each string just enough to keep those beads in a tight formation. Once you finish the seventh row, it's time to create the arms for this pattern. To make the arm, we'll take one end of the string and we'll add three blue beads to that string. Then we'll add a tan bead to that string as well. That's a total of four beads. This is what it should look like. When you have those beads on the string, you'll run them towards the top. Then from here, we're going to use that same end of string and we're going to run that string through the three blue beads that were added to that string going in the direction toward the pattern. Again, watch close as I guide the string through these three blue beads, giving you a clear visual reference of how to run the string through these beads. So once we get that string through those three blue beads, what you'll do next is you'll be sure that those three blue beads are pushed toward the center of that pattern with the other beads, just like this. 
Then you'll hold those beads down in place, pulling that string all the way through until the beads come together, creating the arm looking just like this. Now that we've created this arm, let's go ahead and create another. Making the next arm, we'll use the same steps. We'll take the other end of string and we're gonna add three blue beads to that string, followed by a tan bead as well. Once you have those beads on the string, looking just like this, you run those beads toward the top. Just like we've done before, using that same in the string, we're gonna run that string to the three beads that were added to that string, going in the direction toward the pattern. So just watch close as I guide the string to these beads. Once you get that string through those beads, you'll be sure that they're set in place, holding them down, pulling the string all the way through until the beads come together to create the arm, looking just like this. Now that we've finished the arms, we'll go back to using both ends of the strings again to create additional rows for this pattern. Just remember, we're using the same steps as we did before when creating these rows, as these rows of beads have the straw on the inside to keep them straight and in a tight formation. Once you finish the ninth row, things will be just a little bit different. From here, we'll take one end of the string and we're gonna add one red bead to that string, running that bead toward the top. Then, we're gonna take our other end of string and we're gonna add a red bead to that string as well, running that bead toward the top. Next, we're gonna take one end of the string and add a red bead to that string. Then, we're gonna take our other end of string and we're gonna run it through that bead as well, going in the opposite direction. With that string through both ends of that bead, we'll pull both ends of the string until you've reached the top, bringing all of those beads together. Now that we've reached this point, we're ready to make the legs. To make the legs, we're gonna take one end of the string and we're gonna add five beads on that string. We're gonna add one red bead, a white bead, followed by another red bead, another white bead, and a black bead on the end. Now that you have those beads on the string looking just like this, you're gonna run those beads toward the top. Using that same end of string, we're gonna run that string to the first four beads that were added to that string, going in the direction toward the pattern. That's the white bead, the red bead, the white bead, and the red bead. Watch close as I guide the string through these beads. With this visual reference, it should be clear to see the path I've used when running the string through these beads. Just be sure to take your time ensuring that you've gone through the correct beads. As you can see here, it's as easy as it seems. Once you get that string through those beads, you'll be sure to push those beads toward the others, setting them in place, holding them down, pulling that string all the way through until the beads come together looking just like this. From here, you'll use that same in the string and run that string through the red bead, which is the first bead of that 10th row, going in the direction outside the pattern. Watch close as I guide the string to this bead, pulling that string all the way through until everything comes together looking just like this. With this first leg finished, let's go ahead and create another. Again, we'll take the other end of string and we're gonna add five beads to that string. Starting with one red bead, a white bead, another red bead, another white bead, and a black bead on the end. When you have those beads on the string, you'll run those beads toward the top. Just like we've done before, we'll use that same in the string and we're gonna run that string through the first four beads that were added to that string, going in the direction toward the pattern. So just watch close as I guide the string through these beads. Once you get that string through those beads, be sure that those beads are set in place, hold them down, pulling that string all the way through until all the beads come together just like this. Using that same end of string, we're gonna run that string through the third bead on that 10th row, going in the direction outside the pattern. Again, just watch close as I guide the string through this bead. Once you get that string through that bead, you'll pull that string all the way through and everything should come together looking just like this. As you may notice, there may be a gap in between the beads on the 10th row. To keep this row together, we'll use the toothpick technique. What you'll do is you'll run a toothpick through all of the beads that make up the 10th row. So just watch close as I carefully guide the toothpick through these beads, which should merge the beads together, eliminating the gaps in between. Once you have that toothpick through all of those beads, you can now carefully break off the ends of that toothpick, keeping it from showing through the sides. With that toothpick hidden within those beads, you'll now tie off each in the string with a knot to lock all of those beads into place. 
When tying your string together, be sure that your knot is tied nice and secure to ensure that everything stays locked into place and holds together. Again, you're tying off both ends of strings with a knot that are tied solid and secure. With this visual reference, it should be easy to see that tying a string in a knot is as easy as it seems. So once you've tied off both ends of strings with knots that are solid and secure, and everything is locked into place, all that is left is to carefully cut off the tied loose ends of string, and your beaded Uncle Sam is now complete. And there you have it, a patriotic bead design that looks fine, that was fun to make. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful, and you can create one just as great. If there's anything you would like to add, requests or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment below. And if you are new or you just haven't already, don't forget that you can always subscribe if you want to be notified for more bead tutorials just like this one. Hoping you'll tune in for the next one to satisfy your creative needs. Until next time, as always, thanks for watching Turbo Beads.